Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new here, my name's Trinda. I have three boys and this year they are going to be in fourth grade, second grade, and preschool. So I need to stock up on some of the snacky foods that I will throw into their lunch. So that's mainly what it was. We spent just about $200, but not shown. My oldest, with his money, paid for a $15 Lego set, and my middle son picked out a slime set. So that is included in the price, but it's not here because they're already playing with it. But let me go ahead and show you what we got. First is this fully cooked bacon. We were running low, and I just love the convenience of it. I know we're paying for the convenience, but that's okay for me because it's just so easy to throw on a burger or a sandwich, something like that, where I don't have to make a whole bunch and freeze it or keep it in the fridge. It's just really convenient, so we don't mind paying for that. One snack that all the kids like are these applesauce pouches. It's actually a really good deal for $10. You get 24 and the only ingredient in there is apples, so it's a really good deal and an easy thing to throw into their lunch box, especially when I'm running low on fresh fruit. I like to throw one of those in there. And this is something we have not tried before, but all three kids were with us and they said it looked good and it was actually a really good deal. It was on sale for $3 off. So it worked out to be, I think like a six fifty six dollars something, between six and $7. And you get eight of these Raspberry Rush and eight of the Berry Madness. So it's just something a little bit different and it says they're bigger, no sugar added, 100% fruit. So those looked really good to give a try. This is something, if you saw my last Costco haul, we picked out these pineapple rings because they were on sale. They were still on sale, so less than $5. They were amazing. The guy at the checkout last time told us to keep them in the fridge and that's what we did and they were really good. They did not last long, delicious. Right, the pandas were on sale, so my youngest really wanted these for his lunches. They were like two fifty off, I want to say. They were like five something for thirty two bags. A really good deal. They're really delicious. We just needed more milk, and then coffee. I needed a backup, and that was on sale. And I actually really like the Folgers. It works out well. And the Rice Krispie treats were also on sale. I think they were like three dollars off, so it worked out to be like seven bucks for 60 bars, it's a good deal, and that's a nice little treat to throw into their lunchbox. And then also, the Gatorade was on sale. I like these because they're the smaller boxes, and I do like to treat the boys when they are doing sports, and sometimes I will give them a Gatorade. So this came with eight strawberry, 10 grape, and 10 cool blue. We haven't tried these ones yet, but it's Gatorade, and they kind of like Gatorades whatever flavor so I'm sure they will like that okay coming around to the front the chicken nuggets were on sale also for I think three dollars off it was about eight bucks it was a really good deal these are really delicious chicken nuggets I love to make them in the air fryer we have a little bit of our last package left so I went ahead and grabbed another and same with the ground chuck and beef patties we love having these in the freezer. I keep some buns in the freezer. We have a quick dinner always ready to go. When other plans fall through, it's just super easy. I have like a grill pan that I use on my stove to make them up, oh, delicious. So same thing, we were kind of running low, but I don't know when the next time I'll get to Costco is, so I just went ahead and grabbed another because I love having those on hand. The fruit snacks, I do like to get these ones, I mean, I know they're pretty much candy. They're not good for you at all, but at least these ones, the fruit is the number one ingredient. Even the organic ones, I think is the Annie's that Costco sells, uh, sugar or some kind of rice syrup or something is the number one ingredient even in those. So these ones I feel a little bit better about, even though I know they're not good, but it's definitely a treat. And then this also was on sale for $5.99, so about a dollar a piece. And this is the Lunchables. It comes with just a little Hershey Kiss. These are a little bit better, I guess, than the normal Lunchables because it has the natural turkey breast, real cheese, and the crackers. 
Now, I totally know someone's going to comment that I can make them cheaper myself, and I often do, but kids being kids, they really like the actual Lunchable brand, so that as a treat between the two older ones, so they'll get that a few times, which is fine. Okay, and moving on to waffles, those were on sale. As you can see, there's a theme. I went for the sale items. But this was $3 off also, so about $7, which is an awesome deal for 72 waffles. You put a little peanut butter on there, some banana or honey, and it's delicious. So we like that as a snack or a quick breakfast when we're running late. And goldfish. As you can see, my kids love goldfish, all three of them. And these were $3 off per box, which is an awesome deal. For 45 snack packs, these are great for lunches. They also get a snack time at school, so it's a good for a snack. And also when they are going to karate, I like to throw a couple snacks in their karate bag. So this is something easy that I can throw in there. So I went ahead and stocked up since they're on sale because I know between the three of them, we will go through them. We just need some more bananas and we are always needing these baby carrots because this is my kid's favorite vegetable. We all like eating them plain. Sometimes I cook them, but mostly just raw. Sometimes dipped in hummus. Sometimes just by themselves. I love that it now comes in the two bags so it keeps fresh for a little bit longer. And last but not least, they had their Halloween costumes out already and my seven-year-old picked out this ninja costume. Let me see if I can show you. So this is what it looks like. I noticed that the price did go up. Last year, I want to say there were 25. They've been 25 for the last couple years for the premium costume, and now it's like 27, which still isn't a bad deal. Since when you go to other stores, you, have, you get the costume from around 20, but then all the accessories are going to cost you, and this one comes with all the accessories. And actually, I'm really excited about this because it comes a little sword and everything. He won't be able to bring that to school, but he can wear it when he's trick-or-treating. Uh, last year, he picked out this costume, and we actually ended up having to return it. And he was really bummed because last year, the sleeves, they weren't this stretchy material right here. And they were way too tight, and they hurt him. So we ended up returning it, but it makes me wonder if a lot of other people complained because they changed the sleeves on the rest of the costume is the exact same it looks like but they changed the sleeves to this so they must have had some complaints so it still comes with the same little stars and stuff like that and the bottom of it is the same stretchy material so I'm excited that he'll be actually able to wear it this year because last year that was a bummer we had to go out and buy him something else last minute all right, well, thank you for sticking around. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like Costco and leave me a comment down below. Let me know when your kids are going back to school if you have school-aged children. I just love to hear around the country and around the world when everybody else goes back to school. We go back uh, this Monday, so coming up quick. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.